Friends of Grigna, welcome to Grigna Town. Now, we may have a slight problem in Grigna Town, as I'm about to talk about in uh, the 30 seconds. Emily's going to spend some time with the parrot today. Again, very strange uh, <laughs> recurring timeline Grigna's trapped in. Baby Grigna, good morning. How are you doing, my friend? Have a lovely day. Uh, we've got a slight problem in Grigna Town. So, firstly, I'm recording this episode early because as, uh, on the day that you're... No, yesterday, which is when I would normally be recording this, I'm not going to be home because we're, again, trying to deal with the whole imminent homelessness situation by visiting some more places a little further outside of uh, where we currently live, like actually quite far away from where we currently live. So it's a little bit of traveling just because we are trying to find somewhere to live. So that's going to be a little while. I haven't seen any feedback on Ginger Island or anything like that yet. So um, when I get back, obviously, I'll go through all the comments from last episode and make sure that that's compiled ready for the next episode, along with whatever you write about on this one because I'm not going to record... Kind of too many back-to-back. -to -back. Even though I might have to occasionally, I'd rather, you know, try and squeeze in that extra time so I can respond to everything. Especially because right now, and taking me on to the main point of today. Ooh, Max Luck Day. Good. Um, we have a problem. You never showed up on the boat, so I went looking for you. Finally sprawled out in the dirt with a couple of parrots pulling gold out of your pockets. Oh. Had to drag you all the way down to the boat. My legs feel like two freshwater shrimp. We did pass out on uh, um, Ginger Island yesterday. In the volcano, I thought we'd try and push the exploration as much as possible. Poor old Grigner ended up on his ass in the actual volcano itself. Sorry, Willy. Oops. Shit. Uh, whoops. Hang on. Let's just deal with that quickly. There we are. So, we are going to go back to Ginger Island, but we've got a slightly bigger problem. Now, you might remember, I think it was last episode. It might have been the episode before that. Um, I bought up that somebody said to go to the railroad because apparently there was something there for us. Now, what was supposed to happen is after we've comp completed the community center, a cutscene is supposed to trigger where we can do a quest line for the wizard, but it never did trigger. I get the feeling that some of the quests in this mod pack, because, of, you know, like where I've removed certain things, might have had some real long-term implications that cause we're only just finding out now. Um, so specifically, it's supposed to fire a quest called Dark Talisman. So the wizard needs something from the witch, uh, and we have to go on this big long quest line to uh, open up the entrance to the witch's house. Of course, we need to do that to get the void salmon, so that we can actually finish the community bundle and all that sort of crap. Um, there's a lot to do, but we might be hard locked out of it. So it might be similar to uh, like the magnifying problem we had, where um, certain quests in certain areas just aren't triggering correctly. Obviously, heart events and everything are working fine, but the bus stop and the railroad seem like they could be broken. Um, what we'll try then is we'll, we'll do it again today. We'll head up there today, see if maybe we were waiting on, I don't know, some cutscene or something like that. Maybe something else was queued up. Maybe we had to hear about Willy's boat or something like that. Um, but we'll try it again today. If not, the bad news is it might be, it might be a little broken. Might be a little broken. Anyway, let's focus on getting ourselves some hay. The first thing I want to do in actually is I, I want to do it early so I don't forget it this time. Is to reset our foraging skill. So, oh wow, we picked up a lot of stuff on Ginger Island that we <laughs> probably could have, probably could use the foraging skills to benefit a little bit, but never mind, here we are. We do still need 25 eggs for Gus's omelette. I wasn't sure if we could use any eggs in that one, but there's no way in hell with one chicken we're going to get 25 eggs. We did get some of those drops on Ginger Island, so we might be able to do something with that. Um, what have we got? We got five eggs. We've got five chicken eggs, three duck eggs, three, four, five void eggs, and then obviously a bunch of dinosaur eggs. I don't know if Gus will accept that for his omelette. It might ruin the flavor. Anyway, let's, uh, let's do that. Let's do the regular rounds. Let's do the regular run here and see what we've got going on here. Very nice. Hello, piggies. Nice to see you. My good friend, the goat, and also the cow. Goat curry and whopper. Let's quickly dash over to uh, the storage room. Let's get all this stuff dropped off. So we're probably getting quite close to being able to finish all the fishing goals. I do want to double check those uh, during this episode to make sure there's nothing else I need to catch during summer. Because otherwise we're going to miss a, uh, a very golden opportunity there. Alright, let's chuck all this crap in here. There you go. Enjoy. Uh, hopefully we don't have to store all those journal pages because it seems like there could be a lot. Oh, wow. Well. Um, let's drop some more hops in here. Do we even have? Oh, yeah, there we go. Drop those in there. I think in the basement, we've already got so many bloody hops, we probably don't need many more. Um, Cinder Shards is a resource. Let's drop those in there. We'll also sell one. Blue Discus, we do need to ship. Magma Cap, we also need to ship. Let's ship the uh, crappier one, and then the Ginger as well. Oh, Lord. Oh, God, these inventories were a mess. It's that expanded inventory. <laughs> what a nightmare. Um, you can have that one, and that one, and then all this stuff is to sell. Pineapple seeds. Uh, it's late, but of course we could just grow it in the greenhouse. That, I think, is probably what I'll use the greenhouse mainly for. Um, 
I presume the Dragon Tooth is a resource. It doesn't actually say that it does anything on it. The enamel is made of pure iridium. I, I, I mean, I guess we'll just hold on to it and see what we can do, eh? Um, let's drop you there. So that's all to be sold. The journal scrap, I presume we can just read through. We'll have a look at that in a second. Galaxy Hammer. Honestly, it served us well. I think it's time to retire it. It, it, it has absolutely earned a break at this point. The guy has uh, really helped us out, saved us from a lot of stuff. We do have a little spare room now on the rings list, don't we? We have at least one slot, I think. Um, yeah. Weapon speed by 10%. Increase attack by 10%. Do we have anything increasing attack by 10% or was I clever enough to think, oh, let's not keep, uh... Let's not keep one of the attack rings on the bar when we could just have an Iridium bar. Apparently I wasn't. No. Um, maybe I maybe I put it on because we didn't have the recipe or something like that. Anyway, we might as well wear Iridium bands instead of a Ruby ring, given they have an identical effect. Um, there you go. Stick that over there. Oh, hang on. That's another one of the godly rings. One of those uh, crazy level 4 ones. Very nice. There we are. Help out with our attack a little bit. Let's have a look at this journal scrap and see what this is all about. Day 14. After a month on this island, I've learned a thing or two about finding these golden nuts. One must keep their eyes peeled for a subtle clues. Something that looks unusual. There may be a hidden nut nearby. I've noticed the signs in the sand, signs in the leaves. I saw even a nut near a tree in the volcano. If only I had a way of shooting it down. Ah. Whenever I spotted a nut plant, I've always found a way to reach it. That's useful. Uh, day 6. I won't go hungry here. The water's are full of edible. Nay, delicious fish. I caught a stingray in the caves by the southeast shore. I haven't a clue what to do with it, though. The other day, I fished up a couple of golden walnuts. They seem to be all over the island. The local pirates go crazy for them. Okay, great ins. Day one, my ship is lost, sheltered by the tempest in the unforgiving sea. I found myself stranded now, these strange shores. That my crew has perished and I still live. Pants Lady Luck is blessed for wicked bones of mine. It's Prospero. There's fresh water in abundance, food to forage, and fertile soil to work. First, I build a shelter. That's probably that uh, archaeologist. Oh, look, what's that? Is that basically another hint? Okay, so in a a bunch of uh, small trees, small palms, or something like that, at the western side of the island, I presume, there is a place we can dig. I presume there'll be a hint in, in the sand, so I'm not, not really too fussed about it. So what we can do now, uh, one thing I did a lot yesterday, I will admit, yesterday's episode wasn't massively productive. Shit, didn't mean to do that. Uh, was, you know, looking around the island. Doing a lot of useful stuff in that sense, uh, but... One big thing we did unlock is the ability to uh, basically teleport to Ginger Island, right? I see what we need to craft that. We've got to craft one anyway, because we're trying to get total completion, right? Island requires a dragon tooth. Oh, interesting. Wow. Um, might not be worth it, uh, just in case we have to do something with those. So what I want to do then is let's head up to the railroad, see if we can get that events trigger. If not, I'll wait for your advice in the comments before I do anything like um, trigger the quest manually in the console or something like that. I'll have to look up the quest IDs and it's a bit of a pain in the ass to be honest. I want to see Krobus first. I know I won't kick until the next day, but I did say on last episode that we go see Krobus at the end of the day and then I stayed on Ginger Island all day and we passed out. It's a maximum lock day, so I do want to get to Ginger Island relatively soon though. We can't start gifting the uh, people in town for a little while anyway. Right. Mr. Dog Friend. Yes. Foraging. So is that the final level of foraging then? Because it cost, uh, that's it. So once we, we level it back up to Iridium, we can take it up to 20 foraging, of course, and then we're done. We are actually completely done. And that shouldn't take too long, but in mind we cleared out all those trees yesterday. I do think that was the right decision. Uh, I guess probably the quickest way is up here. I do think that was the right decision. Is there a reason to not keep all of the spicy eel and the coffee on Grigner. We might as well just keep it in his pocket at this stage, right? Let's try walking in off of the bear. Ah! Oh. Is it because we rode the bear in? Maybe. Okay, this is good. The quest is actually triggering. Fantastic. I was a little worried it was broken. Ah, oh, Grigner, I've been waiting for you. It's our good friend, Morbius. Have I ever told you I used to be married? You have. You've mentioned it. You were married to a witch and then she went around cursing people because she didn't have an outcome for her anger. Strange, I know, for a man like me, but it's true. Of course you married a witch. My wife and I were together for many years until I made a mistake that drove her away. Yeah, her anger and envy were so intense she turned green and began flying around the countryside, cursing everything in her path. When I found out, I sealed this passage to her home, fearing that an innocent vi villager might fall prey to her dark magic. Well, I mean, if she's flying around, what difference does it make? But now it must be unsealed, for when we separated, she took my magic ink. That's why you should sign those prenups. You've got to take my magic ink back. I would do this myself, but I can't see her again. That's why I need your help. Oh, the wizard is too emotional. In order to unseal this passage, you'll need a dark talisman. Talk to Krobus in the sewer. He should know where to find one. 
What's going on with Grigna's shoulder? Did you see that? What's going on? Grigna's got like some sort of growth on his shoulder. His hair, his bear hat is, I guess, blowing in the wind and uncovering his shoulder. I'm counting on you. If you can retrieve my magic ink, I'll promise I'll make it worth your while. Now go! Teleport away like a cool guy. Oh, there she is. Or well, at least you presume that's her. Otherwise, this town has a very severe problem with vengeful women on brooms blighting their, their lovers. Next thing you know, she'll be taking milk away from kids. <laughs> right, let's get out of here. No politics, please. Let's get out of here. Um, well, I suppose we can see Krobus. The Ginger Island's always going to be there. And to be honest, completing the wizard quest, I, I know what reward this gives us. Because everybody's been ranting about it in the comment section. If we can complete this as soon as possible, it would be pretty enormous for us, given what we can get out of that. Enormous being the operative word. Krobus. I come on behalf of Morbiusi, my friend. What's that? You're looking for a dark talisman? Now that you mention it, I did have one in my possession not too long ago. Unfortunately, I dropped it while exploring that tunnel in the far corner. Things started heating up in there, so I left it in a hurry and sealed the entrance. You seem pretty sturdy, though. Yes, I am. So I'll open it back up for you. Just be careful, okay? Wowie. Everybody got magic besides Grigna. Emily has magic. Pierre clearly has magic. Like a Dragon Ball character. Oh, this place is lovely. The horrible bug cave. We do need bug meat, actually, for crafting recipes. So it's a bad day to be a bug. <laughs> so very happy to get a little extra fiber. Let's get to work. We've also got to catch a fish here. Um, I think there's like a dirty, stinky fish that we need. And it only spawns in here. It actually might be a legendary fish. I dropped it in that bug cave. In a chest. Whoa. Look at that. You found the dark talisman. It's covered in bug slime. Hmm. Don't worry. Grigna will lick it clean. Well, that's all the bugs clear out. There you go, fella. You can explore here pretty safely. I mean, there is an abundance of eggs. Right, what is it? Yeah, look, that's it. 27% chance of some sort of fish. Don't know why I'm casting out. That's it immediately. Look at that. Oh, it's, it's like a slime fish or something like that. Boom. There we go. Easy. And it was a slime jack. There we go. Nice. Okay, so we take the dark talisman to the wizard now. Um, I guess we'll speak to Krobus. Hello, fella. On Fridays, I stay silent as devotion to Yoba. Me too. What does the uh, pumpkin soup do? Plus two luck. Wow. That's not bad at all. Obviously, as part of Grigna's kind of grand adventure, we will try and get all of the rings. Grigna's mighty rings of power. We need like a like a Rimwall mod for that now. I could throw that together. That's that's about my skill level. Grigna's rings of power. There is a uh a slight spoilers. I do plan on next series uh making a Grigna series on the main channel. I actually went on a big tirade about it, you know, when everybody was uh, going, oh, bug girl, sexy, blah. Where I said, like, okay, fine, next series is going to be definitely not a waifu. It's going to be a great big muscly man. I mean, obviously, still a waifu to a lot of people, and understandably so. I mean, have you seen the guy? But simultaneously, it'll get a little heat off my back. Hello. Uh, I don't expect you to understand. Yeah, that's great. I take the Dark Talisman now to the... I guess we take that to the swamp. Oh, oh, sorry, to the... Yeah, well, yeah, to the witch at swamp, but to the um, the, the guy at the door. We'll go back this way. And we'll get back on the bear. It's going to take us a lot longer. In fact, we could drink a little sip of espresso. And how about a little spicy eel, too? Mm. Are those the only speed bonuses we could get? I should look that up. I know a lot of people were saying that was kind of the end game, but... Maybe the other stuff is just, like, too inconvenient. We caught the thing down there, right? What was that? Oh, it was an Iridium Crobus. Yeah, I remember. Damn. Is that an Iridium Crobus in your pocket? I think we've done that bit before, haven't we? Because people made hard work of Greg and his Iridium Crobus. Come along, Boonbarian. Other Boonbarian. We've got a witch's hut to see. So up here, we can also catch the Void Salmon. Which would be pretty fantastic, because that's another thing takes off. Then we've got to get the Anglerfish. I think you catch the Anglerfish in the secret woods in fall. 
But I, again, that, I want to double check that today because tomorrow's our last day of summer. And if we miss any summer fish, we're fucked. Like, I'm not. We're not just going to play through another whole season. <laughs> just to get a fish. Oh, I still need to buy all the seeds from Pierre. Oh, there we go. Well, um, I'm not entirely sure what type of creature that was, but... Is Boomberry not allowed in? Ooh. Ah, oh, Witcher Swamp. Here we are, and this is where we catch the... Uh, there's a goblin. Hello. I'm just here to fish. Whoa, that's a void salmon. Okay. That's exactly what we're after. I think we need a couple of them, too. I think we also want to fish pond... Fill, up, fill a fish pond up with these, too. And they have some, like, generic good drops. Glad we got rid of the fishing overhaul. Mainly because we've also got this, um... <laughs> got this profession that lets the fish instantly bite. That's a, that's a really nice combo. And we don't need the treasure anymore, right? Granted, it would have been useful for trying to get that dwarf computer, though. I want to catch another void salmon because we need one for the bundle. I kind of want one for a fish pond. I imagine catfish would be pretty good for a um, fish pond, too, right? Maybe some of the stuff from Ginger Island? Come on, salmon. There we are. You will never get this. Doesn't look like a salmon, does it? Boom. Hello, fella. We are human. You want to pass? I'm sorry. This is private property. Now, let me in. I'm sorry, but I can't let you pass. I'd lose my job. Oh, well, you know what? I get it. It's a, it's a tough economy right now, isn't it? There's a goblin blocking the path of the witch's hut. There must be some way to get past him. Perhaps we should seek out more information on goblins. Hmm. Perhaps we should seek out more information on goblins, huh? Um, what do we do? Oh no, Boombarian. How do we get past the fucking goblin? What's that up there? Is there a thing up there? What is that up there? Look. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. What's that up there? There's a thing up there, isn't there? Oh, is it just like a bird's nest? I think it's just a bird. Hang on. Oh. Okay, that's quite fun. Oh, I like that a lot. <laughs> and it automatically, uh... Oh, I like that a lot. That's pretty fun. Not that Grigna would be a coward to use it in uh, combat. How the hell do we get... Seek more information on goblins. Gunther? The dwarf? Maybe the wizard? I don't know. We're gonna... Ah! Oh, Hatted Boonbarian. You're really my favorite. Let's have a chat with the dwarf, then. Hello. Anything about goblins? It's dangerous in the mines. Why don't you buy a few things from my... Oh, oil of garlic. I actually need to craft that, annoyingly. Uh, we do need to buy that. That's okay. We need to get a recipe for absolutely everything at this point. Don't forget we got to buy that um, Joja Cola recipe from Pierre. Check the uh, Warriors Guild, too, see if there's anything in here. No, it's not called the Warriors Guild. Well, it might be. Uh, Adventurers Guild, that's it. Do you have any recipes or anything new? Uh, not right now. Okay, fair enough. Gil? Savage Ring. Gain a short speed boost whenever you slay a monster. Oh, fuck. That's pretty good, though, eh? Uh... Ah. Uh... Mm, yeah, I'm gonna do that. M maybe against my better judgment. Lower the weapon swing speed. Oh... Uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. I, I think there's a way... To combine rings at some stage, right? Boonbarian. Sit there. I'm taking your brother out. You've been the star for a long time. Grigna riding his twin bears. That's so cool. He's like Odin. Was it, was it the two goats? I don't remember. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, you only know about the two goats because of uh, the Thor film. Uh, no. Real people know about those two goats from uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. The two goats that pulled the sleigh. I don't think they, were the, they, don't think they pulled the sleigh. Hello? Uh, nothing. I was just checking to see if he would <laughs> tell me about goblins. Can you tell me about sailors? Well, in this case, goblins preferably. Right, okay, let's dash over to the wizard then. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us a little bit about goblins, given that he is the goblin man. Well, he's not a goblin man, but he's the man who's telling us to go after the goblin. He's a man who knows about the occult. Right, wizard. 
What does the goblin want? Tell us a fucking thing! What am I supposed to do? A, a Gunther? Gunther's shut. Goblin. 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 Could just look it up. <laughs> goblin. How am I supposed to know what a goblin would like? Hmm. I think I've got to give him something, right? What a goblin want? Like a weapon. Like a blade. If I was a goblin. Gold bar? Oh my god. Oh! Is this the this is the heart event for Sam? It's finally fired. Oh, weird. Hi, Grigna. Thanks for coming. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. No problem. Yeah. Well, our gear's loaded already. Looks like everything's set. All right, everybody. Let's get on the bus. Yeah, no, of course. Absolutely. Oh, that's good. Seems like all the events have woken up. I'm not entirely sure what happened last time. Maybe where we completed the community since we need to close and reopen or something like that just to, just to kick it off. Doesn't really help me with the goblin problem, though, does it? Here we are. Wish me luck. Ah. Oh. Why is Linus here just going through the bin? The pit. Oh, yeah. Hi, everyone. We're from Pelican Town, and we're called Xenon Chip 3.0. This song's about farming, mining, and chopping wood. Certified club banger, you got to admit. Oh, that was nice. Let's go away for the drop. Grigg is gonna start a pit. No, oh. <laughs> maybe maybe a little inappropriate for that. <laughs> I hope you're all having a good time watching the concert. Uh, sorry, I was just looking at this whole thing and thinking, wow, the perspective is absolutely fucked, isn't it? Like, none of the perspective makes sense. Like, this just does not work. There's something wrong with, like, this whole section here just doesn't look right. I also love the fact it's a massive flat building. <laughs> well, those electronic sounds were far out. Glad you enjoyed it, Emily. Nice work, guys. I really enjoyed that bass part. I think that was pretty much all the bass part, right? You should really be clapping for Grigna. Without his help, we didn't have decided what kind of music to make in the first place. Yeah, you better clap for Grigna. So you're an honorary member of the band, then? Absolutely. Grigna does vocals. Then we get to pick up one of our demo cassettes on the way out. Only 10G. Grigna would do some amazing vocals, too. That went well. Thanks again for coming with us. Hi, I'm Grigna the Barbarian. Famous Barbarian. And these are my friends, a group of teenagers. And this song is uh, Hammer Smash Face. Totally inappropriate for the music, but it, it, could be, it could be a hit. You never know. What have we got going on in here, then? Garlic's ready to harvest. We'll save that for tomorrow. We've got to try and make that garlic oil. Oh shit, what do we want to do? I don't know how to get past the goblin. <laughs> it's, probably a, it's probably a mind goblin, actually, now that I think about it. Um, fine, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. I'll try not to be horribly lazy and sell all the stuff. I'm not lazy, I'm impatient. We've got a, we've got a time schedule to stick to, and God damn it, I intend to stick to it. The fish are going in the junk chest, because in my mind, that is still the... Um... Oh, hang on. What else do we need for the... I think all we need for the... Bundle... Is just... Dinosaur mayonnaise? Right? So in that case... Hold on one second. Let's take a little dinosaur egg. Whatever. Ah, uh, let's give him a shit one. It's just for a bundle. Give him a shit one. Give me a mayonnaise machine. And let's pop it down outside. Just so that we're not accidentally mayonnaising all that other stuff. Just in case on the very off chance. Two hours, 42 minutes. Just in case on the off chance we can finish Gus's thing. Can we see the bundles now? There we go. Um, so we need the void salmon, which we've got. The caviar, which we've got. The dinosaur maymays, which we're working on. The ancient fruit, which we've got. Oh, shit. Um, that one. That one. Nice. 
Uh, what was the other thing? Wine. Silver quality wine. Oh, well, that one we can probably knock out and... Well, however long that would take. Silver quality wine. We just put any silver quality fruit into a keg. Nice. Uh, okay. Well, that's going to be pretty easy then. Let's have a look here. Uh, can I make a keg? Because, I mean, where else would we get any kegs? <laughs> Positively none on this farm whatsoever. There you go. And then we just put any silver quality fruit in there. Um... What would, what would turn into wine? I mean, grapes. Very famously, in fact, turn into wine. Great wine. Five days! Five friggin' days to make wine? I don't think I've ever drank wine in real life. I don't think I've ever tried it. Maybe I should try it. It's just, I've just never, I've just never even considered that it's actually a drinkable thing. Like beer, never touching it. Never touching the stuff. Absolutely vile. Disgusting. Stout, lager, beer. IPA. Sorry to say it, Gregner. All vile. I will never touch it as long as I live. Spirits. Okay, fine. Rum. That's good. Whiskey. Acceptable. Vodka. Horrible. Only because I ruined it for myself. Don't eat the grape. Don't eat the grape. <laughs> Wine, though. Oh, brandy's pretty bad, too. Although it's very warming. Imagine it's good if you're lost on a mountain somewhere. There you go. Uh, and then five ancient fruit. And then all we need is the mayonnaise, which is in progress. And then the wine, which is in progress. There you go. And that turns into like a cinema or something. What do you call it in America? You call it a cinema in America? The movies. I don't know. I don't know what you people are doing over there. Let's go smash some dust sprites. That's another thing we got to take off. We could go to Ginger Island, sure. Bit of a waste. Sorry, Boom Baron. I'm not here to mock you. But if it's any consolation, other Boom Baron, I'm almost certainly going to forget is here. It's 440, right? I suppose the downside to using the sword... Bloody hell. Okay. Uh, this is quite fast. The only downside to using the sword is that we can't just do the generic floor smash effect to kill a whole bunch of enemies. Nothing down here. We do want to kill the bats, though. Actually, let's do a little... Oh, we got a strange doll. Very nice. We could have done with that ages ago, but that's fine. I forgive you. A little fella. Don't mind me. Just looking for uh, other little fellas to kill. So many... So many uh, thingies. That's right. Just like a lot of thingies, aren't we? Uh, artifacts. I, it must be a high luck thing. Slime eggs? By the dozen? Bat, yes. Kill the bat. I did spray that bug mask, right? Maybe we already had it active. Maybe I didn't need to spray it again. It's probably a bit of a waste. That's alright. Another artifact. You've got to give me the dwarf computer, though. Legally. Area's overrun by monsters. Not for long. Speedy Grigner and his speedy magic sword. Look at this. This man cannot be stopped. It's not a mallet, sure. But it's pretty good, eh? Um, I guess we will hop on the tractor. Give it a, a brief go. Oh, this is good. I like this sword. The speed boost is really, really nice. We'll be done in no time with these. I, should, I, I think I will just pick up all of our speed boosting stuff just to take with us permanently from now on. There's really no reason not to. This is very silly. <laughs> there they are. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Nice to see you. And then it's just mummies, and then it's just the magma fellas from the volcano. Which seem to be pretty abundantly spawning. I was obviously very easy to get to as well. Or, or pretty consistent to get to. Although I'm going for the serpents. With their kind of semi-random spawn rate. Whereas they always seem to spawn in the volcano, no matter what. Good lord. <laughs> this people is definitely stacks. That's so good. Um, we will try and... Oh, there it is! No way! Hey, amazing. So we need that to make the uh, farm computer. 
Oh, well, that's so good. Now we don't have to worry about the, the, the whole tractoring anymore. Great work. Trying to get enough bat wings. Was it like 30 bat wings to make um a single one of the monster potions? Come here. That's it. Grigna does not care for you. You were pathetic compared to Grigna. There we are. Come here, little fellas. Like to get it finished today. I don't think we will. I think we had loads of these guys to kill because these floors are more or less just skipped over quite fast. So we get down to those lower floors for the better stuff. How many were we on? Uh, let's have a look quickly. Uh, we've got to kill 213 of the fucking things. Jesus. My God, man. Wow, that's kind of nuts. 13, though. Shit, we're going to have to run this route 100 times. Bloody hell. Well, 1 a.m. Are we too deep now, or... Oh, no. I mean, I know they spawn in, like, groups of... Groups of 10 or so. It's quite a lot on this floor. So we just got to kind of hope to get lucky. Yeah, well, there's loads on this floor, weren't we? It's 457. Maybe we'll start 450 next time. There's a few more fellas. Very nice. What time is it? 1.30. We've got time. We've got time. At this stage, it genuinely might just be worth paying the... Paying the however much money it was just to, you know... Try and stretch out a little longer. Oh, shit. Where's the way out? So we have sometimes they just straight up don't spawn from you. Trying to dig them up. I guess just like a single set spawn on the floor. Shit. Well... There we go. Only another 200 left to go. So I want to check with Gunther. See if there is any information on goblins. And then I also want to... Uh, I also want to check... Double check all the fish. Make sure that we can... Make, make sure that we can't catch them now. Because that will be all of the star drops then. As well as all the fish. <laughs> Level up foraging? I don't think we did. <laughs> Baby Grigner, hello. So, I mean, look, there's going to be a minimum time we have to play anyway. To get all the cooking recipes, we need to keep watching the TV, right? Uh, Queen of Sauce. Die, the Queen of Sauce. Roasted hazelnuts. Mmm. Delicious. I may have forgotten to check the basement yesterday, actually. Hello. Quickly, the show was a rocking success. I wanted to, uh, thanks again for the help in creating this amazing band. We couldn't have done it without you. Sorry, I got a hiccup, Sam. So we're going to have to wrap this up. Uh, Marlon, I found your face down in the mud during my 3 a.m. sweep. You should take it home a little earlier next time. Kent sent me another bomb. Uh, oh, dear Grigner. Moonlight jellies. Okay, cool. We should probably go and have a look at that. Didn't last time. Hello. Horoscope for the day isn't too good. Yep, mandatory wife kiss. And then back to work. Say hello to the animals this time. How are we doing on the... That's good. Right, so, first things first. I'm going to quick stack all the stuff out of our backpack. I don't think we'll have found too much, but some of it will probably move over there. Then, let's take all of the speedy items. I'm going to drop that in there. We won't be able to do something with it. Um, no other food. Doesn't look like it. Might as well have a look down here, see if we've got any more. Very nice. Little pale ale. Blueberry wine. Hang on. We can just get it now, right? Because it was just uh, silver quality wine. It was just silver quality wine. We can finish the bundle immediately. All I have to do is just clobber this. There you go. Missing bundle. Amazing. That's what thinking with your brain does. Don't ever expect it again. Because it'll never happen. Right, let's get this inventory sorted out. Let's get to work. Final day of the hops harvest. So we'll probably be ending with Maybe about 15 million. Bear in mind, we've got a lot of hops backed up. Still waiting to be processed. Uh, let's have... Oh, you know what? Let's sort our inventory out first. And depending on how much time we've got, we've got a ginger island. Right, spare artifacts. I'm going to keep them all in the chest. I know we don't need them. We can sell them. But it's just easier for inventory management, isn't it? Um, you can go in there. You can go in there. What else we got? You really know earth crystals? I'm sure I believe you. I guess we just don't have any of that particular type. Matic shard. Uh, that's a tool, so I can go in there. Some basic old frozen tears. Everything else is fine. Monster drops. Got some slimy eggs. 
Oops. Wow, well, whatever. Close enough. I mean, it was a monster drop, so, I mean, you can't argue with it. Ring of the Apprentice Fisher. That's not the, that's not the fishing ring, though, is it? Weird. Wonder what, wonder what happened with that. Anyway, uh, let's put the spicy eel on the bar. Actually, you know what? It would make more sense doing something like that, because I think I accidentally ate some. <laughs> Monster muscle, I didn't need it. And to be fair, we don't actually need the milk pail anymore, because it's all automated, so that's a bit pointless carrying that around. Um, oh my, my topaz ring. Yeah, none of these are rings that we need to upgrade, are they? Doesn't look like it. Oh, some goods, placeables, nothing in there. If you see any of the rings that I need to upgrade, let me know. What's that one? Uh, immunity band. Definitely not that. Uh, definitely nothing in there. Just some ginger island related crap. Hmm. What would I have done with them? Because we must have received them. And I don't think I've upgraded them. I haven't lost them. That's the only thing. Ugh. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. Give me that pale ale. Mmm, my favorite. And bear in mind, we've got uh, the crystal irons working out on the more rubies, just so that we can <laughs> trade them for trading precious gems, priceless precious gems for uh, eels. We could always harvest, I, I suppose, fish some of the eels out the pond. So that in turn, those will obviously repopulate, but we could also make spicy eel with it. We might actually have to do that when it comes to making the recipe, right? Boy, I'm, I cannot wait to redo this farm with the Junimo huts or whatever else. Maybe that's what we'll also unlock by finishing this wizard quest, because that should unlock some magical buildings for us. And then we'll get everything automated. That'd be so nice. We could still have something like the hops going, or, or you know, some sort of continuous crop. Whatever that happens to be. But then we could just watch as the profits flow in. If we really want to be lazy and we really hate the dopamine rush, we could uh, hook it right to a shipping bin as well. Just have it all be totally automated. We wake up with Ginger Island, we sleep, the profits roll in. We become a soulless mega corporation like all of you in the comments wanted. Every single one of you wanted that. I don't care. Don't, don't protest. You know what you did. And we are good. And we'll have to see if those trees are ready to chop down too. Why the hell not? What about you? Are you a choppable tree or are you a decorative uh, decorative tree? Suppose if we just have this equipped. Plow over a lot of them. Right, get out of the way. You're probably thinking, oh no, all the other trees that are gonna I think this might be enough. Is it gonna be enough? You know what? Let's get off the track to see how we do. Might wanna leave a few, I suppose. But I think between this and Ginger Island. Will they be good? Maybe just this alone will get us up to level 10, but... I won't be so gung-ho, I suppose. It's bloody quick. It's not that quick. Bear in mind we've got all of Cindersat Forest that I've left for ages as well. We'll probably just about eke out level 10. Ah, oh, lovely. Wow, level 7. Okay. A little bit far off. I still think we can do it. I still think we can probably just about do it. And I never have to think about foraging again. Ah, oh, happy day. <laughs> wow, what a time to be alive, huh? Um, do you want any of this? I mean, I really should sell it, or shouldn't I? But that's all right. Here, you can hold those for me. Oh, fine, I'll take them into storage. Give me that. Um, this will sell, that will sell, that can stay. Good God, and we've got to do the... Um, Gotta do the hops run as well. Oh my god, we gotta see the traveling merchant. I think it's completely irrelevant, but I still will do it just to be sure. And the void mayonnaise is ready. So we can actually go finish the community center today. Or oh, the final, final bundle. Hello, nice to see you all. Very good. Hello. Thank you. Hand over that mayonnaise. <laughs> Dinosaur mayonnaise. What a game. Oh, it's a regular boon variant to come out rather than hatted boon variant. Suspicious. Oops, I didn't get the other hops, did I? Excuse me. Chicken's absolutely fucking terrified as a man on a bear comes charging through at high speed. You just have to deal with it. There's life level on Grigna Farm. Uh, have we got any more iridium quality? We do bloody loads. Oh no. Ah! We've got to grow something in, in fall, ideally, that is, of course, um, barrelable. Or keggable, I should say. Something else that makes some sort of wine or juice or, or some sort of produce. 
Right, uh, let's sell that, that, uh, that, that, that can go, that can go. Very nice. Sweet peas want to keep. More bloody hops to use up. Oh shit, more pale ale. There you are. Check the basement in the house. My god, I'd be so glad when the hop saga is over. I mean, it's Grigna. Uh, it's, it's, it's absolutely Grigna's life choice, you know, down to a T. The man loves his alcohol and any other substance he can imbibe. You know, why be stuck at 10 strength and zero intelligence when you can drink heavily and also imbibe a bunch of mad drugs and then become, you know, like strength 50? It just makes sense when you think about it. We'll keep that on the bar for gifts. Uh, we keep the void mayonnaise on the bar for gifts, so we keep all that for gifts, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can stay there for gifts. <laughs> then that's it for the missing bundle. Nice, let's get it turned in, then. Bundle complete. Excellent. And that should hopefully contribute a little bit more to it. Have we already turned in the other stuff? So it's just those two. Nice, let's get to it. So I want to go to Gunther, so we'll head over to Jojo Mart first, then we'll go to Gunther afterwards, see if he can help us. I just don't understand where else you would find out about goblins if not the wizard or the dwarf or Krobus or the museum. There you go, bundle complete. Oh, wait, we didn't, no, it was only five slots. We didn't even need the wine. Oh, well, never mind. That's it. There you go, fella. Little happy little guy. Doesn't even say anything. Oh. <coughs> All the others made it back. Except me. Oh. Now I can go home. Too. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. But it really brings a tear to your eye, doesn't it? Goodbye, little fella. Wow. I feel like that one was a bit of a dick, though. All the others wanted, like, uh, one of them actually just wanted some crops that you found on a floor. Something good will happen soon. Oh. Like, that little, that little guy wanted all the exotic stuff. He was, uh, he was kind of trying to see what he could get away with. Why would they trash the place on the way out? What the fuck's wrong with Morris? I hope they sent him a bill for that. What a dick. Right, Gunther. Uh, museum looks amazing. Oh, for fuck's sake. Have I got to read a book? Animals. Oh, we need to read the books. Oh, shit. Tips on gardening. Oh, right. Okay, well, fair enough. Fisherman. Great. On foraging. You got anything on goblins? Oh, shit. What did that say? Note from Gunther. Great. Technology report. About Crystallarium. Secrets of legendary fish. So something weird in the tunnel heading out from Pelican Town. There's a little door in the dark. Couldn't get it open. Gunther. The tunnel leading out from... Oh, right. Yeah, that would be the, the Mr. Chi challenge, right? What's this one? Um, Solak Ulan Pa Enora Koto Ulan Koto Ulan Mabo Bell Enora Teba Omni Walo Nemo. It's very Sims, isn't it? Ubli Kandoroy. Goblin. Bruh. The species commonly known as goblins seem to originate in the forest far in the northeast beyond the Blue Mire Hills. Characterized by their green skin, bright red eyes, and foul smell, initial encounters with the goblins can be frightening for unexperienced travelers. Despite their unsettling appearance and obsession with Apex Legends, goblins possess an intellectual and emotional capacity akin to humans and no trouble learning our customs and language. What do I do about them? The goblins have pursued careers in the employ of witches, warlocks, necromancers, and other unsavory types. A traditional goblin diet largely consists of grub meat. Okay, bug meat, bug steak. Variety of native goblin home for us on special occasions. Goblins will indulge an item called void mayonnaise. Considered the finest delicacy in all goblin cuisine. Are you telling me that the thing I've had in my pocket since the beginning has been the thing to give to the goblin? What's that one? How deep do the mines go? Uh, floor 120. A farmer's journal. Uh, <laughs> I, I like this effectively just a pro prolonged tutorial. Scarecrow, yep. Uh, well, I don't even know what that said. Secret of the star drop, yep. Uh, we've got Journey of the Prairie King. Already got the achievement for that one. Study on diamond yields at level 50. Approximately 1 in 500 stones will be diamond rich. That's cool. Uh, Mysteries of the Dwarfs. Smoluanu. Sky people. I don't think for a group that lives deep underground, isn't it? It's like uh, Skyrim. Of the Elder Scrolls. Where the dwarfs were eaten by the giants. Moderation, you'll surely regret it. Fantastic. Uh, highlights from the Book of Yoba. Before time, there was only the endless golden light. The light called it out to itself. Yoba. 
Yoba wanted more. Yoba swirled the golden light into a vortex. Yoba swirled and swirled until the hole formed in the eye of the vortex. Great. Marriage guide for barbarians. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a very specific book to keep on your bookshelf, Gunther. Wow. Okay, maybe that counts for completion. Having learned to read. Grigna, as, as, as established in the long-term Grigna lore across several series, doesn't in fact read. In fact, eats books uh, to, to get their knowledge. Because he can't read. That's probably why there was a book symbol above those bookshelves. And then when Grigna read them, the book symbol disappeared. Because the book disappeared into Grigna's mouth. It's the Grigna deep lore. Right, okay. So, uh, before we get too carried away here. Give the thing to the goblin. We've got to go and see Pierre, and we've got to maybe catch some fish. That's a fair point. I should check that now, given that's time sensitive. Stop. Wait. Stop. Okay. Fish, 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 fish. Uh, angler? Fish? There's legendary fish. Uh, caught during the fall. Fine. Glacier fish. I presume you catch it during the bloody winter. Yes. Lionfish and stingray, we can both catch now, but is that season specific? No. Ginger Island. On the west. South. Or southeast. Sorry, I'm, I'm hiding the hiccups. Stingray. Uh, Pirate Cove on Ginger Island southeast. There you go. So, in fact, we cannot catch any other fish right now that are not season specific. Fine. Oh, goblin. That smell. I can't resist. Give me that. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. He wasn't a goblin. He was an orc. Hello. Oh, that'll be the magic ink, then. You found the wizard's lost magic ink. Better return it to him. Wow. Curse the countryside. A spell book for the rural witch. Uh, the dark shrine of selflessness. Your children will turn into doves and fly away. Make an offering of one prismatic shard. No, because that will ruin the extended Grigna law. Dark shrine of memory. The statue stares through you. And then we've got the dark shrine of night terrors. That will allow monsters to appear in the farm. Ooh, we need to give him a strange bond. Oops! The wizard's basement. How terribly convenient. Oh, that's nice. Oh, so they're still, like, at least on good terms. You found my ink. Excellent. I <laughs> like that he's only got a front sprite. Uh. Did you happen to see my ex wife? No? Well, what about her house? Do you think she lives alone or. Oh. He still, he still has feelings for her. Actually, don't tell me. I don't want to know. She lives with a weird blacksmith called Clint, I think his name was. Anyway, you must be wondering about your reward. Here. Wow, wow, wow. No? Ah, he's lit fire to a book. It's very impressive. Uh, it's a book of summoning. The arcane potential is immense, but I'll make it simple for you. But using this book, you can summon magic buildings directly to your yard. I think you'll find it useful. I will find it useful, in fact. I almost forgot to say. Uh -uh. Thank you. You're welcome, wizard. Grigna is like, oh, oh, fucking stupid face. <laughs> Junima hut. Oh, we need star fruit. Fuck. Okay. Earth obelisk warps you to the mountains. Five hundred thousand ten iridium bar, ten earth crystal. The water obelisk warps you to the beach. Beach. The iridium bar, clam and coral. Fine. Uh, iridium bar, coconut, cactus fruit. Iridium bar, dragon tooth, banana. Ooh, and then the golden clock. Prevents debris from appearing on your farm and keeps fences from decaying. Crumbling mine shaft. Oh, what the fuck is that? That sounds amazing. Obelisk of weather. Oh, orb of reflection. Oh. Okay. Uh, whatever the fuck that does. Okay. And still thoughts about the past and offers boons for the future. The Phantom Clock. An almost ethereal clock that's able to loop time. If it is given what it desires. The Quizzical Statue. An odd statue that seems fond of asking questions. The Statue of Greed. It's capable of doubling items if it doesn't eat them. The Tractor. The Magical Tractor. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, wizard. Sometimes I've observed the local villagers in secret. I'm hoping to find an apprentice. Someday I will leave this multiplayer, but my arcane pursuits may continue. Must continue. What does that mean? Do you think he's going to ascend? Or do you think that means that he is... Oh, I've part barbarian all the way at the bloody witch's hut. Or do you think that means he's going to just, like, like die? You know, like the old-fashioned way. It's like, it's like, die. Okay, good. Well, that's the wizard quest complete. So now we can now get the obelisks, which we'll start work on 
really wish I would start walking right now, but I'm going to go back to Ginger Island because I'm too lazy to walk to get the bear. Oh, soundtrack's a banger too. Uh, well, let's see then. What can we catch? Anything we haven't caught yet? Uh, yes. Some sort of fit. I don't know why. I, I don't know why I'm doing it like that when we can just catch whatever. What are you, tuna? It's not a tuna. I think that's a tuna anyway. Interesting. This is a hundred percent chance of a golden walnut. Oh. Oh, would you look at that? That was easy, eh? Flounder we've already caught, but we'll catch another one. Why not? Should have already got a bobber on this before we came out. I wonder what the chance of getting a... Maybe maybe each water area contains a golden walnut for you. That could be it. Although, look, occasionally something does... Look at that. What's that? Is that junk? There could be junk chance. Oh, it could be another one of those uh, journal notes. Whoa, fucking puffer fish. Hey, puffer fish. Okay. Whenever you're ready, special other fish. Hey, there we are. Very nice. Oh, I should just keep the fishing rod in the bar and see what else we can find on uh, on our adventures here. Boom. Lionfish. There we go. So we can't seem to go anywhere else over there yet. This pirate wanted 10 walnuts to progress on, right? Fuck it. Why not? Uh, 10 walnuts. There you go, little guy. Gonna wake the turtle up for us. By physically assaulting it. <laughs> wow. Okay, I don't really support that, but that's alright. Oh shit, here we go. Forage. Tractor. Begin your work. I love hardwood. Wow, he has a lot of land to plow here. I suppose we could just grow crops here, right? That'd be good. Man, I told you that Ginger Island would get us the levels we needed. And uh, you know what? I think it probably will. If they blast through all of this, why not? Tidy the land up a little bit. I mean, you could also argue that tidying up the land is destroying the natural environment. <laughs> it's alright, I'll be fine. Dude, I mean, there's no one here to see. It's okay. As long as no one sees you do it, you can do what you like. There we are. Oh, golden coconut. I don't know what we do with that, but thank you. Good stuff. And then we got a load of whatever this is. Muscles. Very nice. Oh, a shipwreck. Spooky. Is this the pirate cove, maybe? I wonder. Okay, well, that's that sorted. Is there something over here? I thought they might have hidden a door there because it looked kind of door-sized. And then to catch, nothing. Bloody slow ass tractor. In fact, let's have another let's have another shot of espresso. There you go. Right, do you think there's anything on here worth trying to plow up? Evidently not. It's just all clay. That's alright. Let's go to the other side quickly, see if we can just get those last few levels. There's something in the pond? There's probably something in the pond, right? Let's give it a quick check. Uh it's a note. Okay, I'm not really too bothered about that right now. Maybe we'll need them all for total completion. I'm not sure. Oh, we had to dig somewhere here, didn't we? I think this was the area that was implied anyway. Ooh. How was this? You're a strange voice from behind the door. Only the greatest one hunters man to hear. Your current status is 22 out of 100. Okay. Well, fair enough then. We were supposed to dig somewhere over here, weren't we? I don't remember where in particular, so I'll just... Uh... There we are. Quality bobber and a walnut. As a person... Hello, random person. Don't mind me. I'm just destroying your beautiful island. X marks the spot for another golden walnut. Very nice. It seems like this might take a while to get them all. Is that an enemy? What the fuck is that thing? You're so cool. What are you? I'll shoot you with a shoot with a thing. No. What what do you do? It's just a guy that hangs around. I'm sure there is something we're supposed to do here. <laughs> I don't really understand it, but okay. You live your best life there, little fella. That's on you. Have a good day. Until I figure out a way to destroy you. For the time here, though, no. I'll live your best life. Another walnut here. Very nice. There's shitloads of these, aren't there? The person doesn't mind that we're just, um... So absolutely annihilating everything. What the hell are these, then, I wonder? Uh... 
Oh, oh, it's ginger. Oh, interesting. Okay, fair enough. I might be why the island is called that. Could you believe it? Hello, person. Who are you? Uh, hello. I love it's your friend Grigner. Oh, a visitor. Oh, it's an old grandma. Come closer, child. Hello. You haven't had a visitor in many moons. I almost forgot what other people look like. That's a weird, weird child on the other side of the island. Suppose you're here. I might as well ask for a favor. <laughs> uh, come. You have to buy me dinner first. Have you seen that wrecked ship on the south shore? My husband was a captain, a pirate. He was. He set sail one day never to return. Took me three years sailing the high seas to find his remains. Oh. I've been here since ever since, dear, guarding his bones. How sad. My child, if I could only find a keepsake of his, it would bring me much peace. Of course. Anything for Mrs. Drink. Here, take this. It's an old... <laughs> Look at this photograph. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> much appreciated. Uh, it will help us find what we seek. Ah, oh, thank you. War memento. Thank you, Chad. Much appreciated. That's Chad Kroger, obviously. Okay, we got to find a husband's remains. I don't know. I don't know what we're looking for of her husband's. I still don't know what the hell we do with that fella there. And there's no new fish here either, right? Uh, and occasionally a note plings up. Can we do something about this uh, ship? Why is some of the pixel art in this game? And I, I hope this isn't seen as a... Uh... Oh, that's nice. Oh, was that two? What was that? I oh, was just me shaking the tray as it was going up to the bar. I hope this isn't, you know, like a controversial thing to say or, or you know, kind of mean. But sometimes the pixel art in this game is um complete dog shit. And then other times, like, especially the character sprites, sadly. You know, one of the arguably the most important parts of the game. But then other times it's, like, pretty good. Like, some of the environmental stuff is, is, is alright. Like, quite well done. What about you? You want 20? Repair sleep hut. Oh, we can sleep on Ginger Island. I'm sure Emily won't be concerned at all about the fact that we've suddenly disappeared to go and sleep on a fucking island in the middle of nowhere. Left to raise a child by herself. No, 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 that's fine. You do you. As long as you're having an adventure. As long as you're help out having a good time. Ooh, tiger slime eggs. That sounds good. Yeah, just live your best life. It's fine. So we've really got to try and go everywhere, haven't we, on Ginger Island? Look at that. So we can't get past that bit. Okay, fair enough. I mean, it's the, it's the Grignison way of life. Constant adventures. What's this, arbitrary? Uh, oh, there we go. So they did say that... Oh. I was going to say they did say that the, some of the nuts in trees might need shooting down. Um, turns out we could just reach that one with our massive arms. <laughs> uh, it's all the way down here. Yep, there we go. Thank you. Got anything else over here? Doesn't really look like it, does it? Little bird, what do you do? Parrot Express. Oh, does it teleport you to different parts of the island? Oh, interesting. But is that like a, I pay you to teleport me there now? Or I get to permanently use that once I've paid for it? Ooh. Okay, hang on. Is there a theme tune? Oh, is it Simon Says? Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh. Shit. <laughs> I fucked up the last one, I think. Oh, you gotta start again? Oh! Fuck! Okay, that last one is... Quite fast, then. Okay, fair enough. We'll get it. I was listening more to the tones than actually what was lighting up. Duh. Duh. Shit! Fuck! <laughs> okay, this time, this time. This time we'll be fine. I need to stop talking as I'm listening. 
Okay, bear with me. Got to listen. Got to listen here. Focus. Green, green, red, purple. No. Dun, 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 dun. Oh fuck! Green, green, red, green. Maybe I should focus on the tones. We could be here for a while. Fuck! I clicked on the wrong one. Ah! 